A. Brock University <coughs> Social Justice and Equity Studies students. My name is Ian Gordon. I'm with the Brock Library. I'm a science librarian, but for this particular calendar year, I'm filling in for my colleague, Lori Morrison, Sociology Librarian and Social Justice and Equity Studies Librarian. Uh, she is on leave or sabbatical. She will return in January 2021, and you can certainly connect with her then. But for now, I'm going to show you tips, tricks, strategies, resources, and databases that help you to be a better student, a better researcher, and a better writer as you move forward and identify resources to do coursework, write papers, uh, to be better informed of what choices you may have, and to explore all the Brock Library has to give you. These PowerPoint slides have embedded URLs that you can follow up after this presentation and learn more about things that you may need to do as well. Um, uh, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to do three quick searches. The first search is an Omni, our main database search, to show you a couple things that are really important to doing a good search. I'm going to look up Brock theses to look at major research papers and social justice and equity studies theses as well. Um, they're really, they, they really are important. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search ProQuest sociology database. It's an important database to find scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles because you can add other databases and do concurrent searches over a number of databases all at once. And at any time you move through these sorts of things, you may find things that are new you didn't know about. I will challenge you to do things that you should do and I can help you follow up. Or you may come across them and go, how do I do that? Or how do I get started? Or can you tell me more about those sorts of things? So on our first page, um, as you look at this things, there's my name, name and my email address you can certainly follow up with. The Brock Library help page, you can get help at any time by an email or a chat. I'll show you more about that. The Social Justice and Equity Studies Research Guide and the URL here, we'll move through that and it'll be my teaching document for you to benchmark where to go to find different things that may be helpful at different times of your research. Here's the Brock Library, what's new? It was an August 28th news story. It, it's great because it tells you what's changed, what's new, and extra resources that we've put forward to help during this time of the pandemic. The Digital Scholarship Lab has workshops that you should look at to see if you could take. The Brock Digital Repository has theses and other documents that are really crucial that are our documents as well. The Brock Library Research Data Management Guide. I'll talk about it in a minute, but it, it's, it's a great resource as well. So here's some starting points as well. Let's move forward. Here's the Brock University Library homepage. The news is here. Um, what's new to Brock, what's open and what's closed, and all sorts of tools that can help you as well. On this guide, there's one guide that says Research Help, and the Research Help tab is uh, uh, the email address, the libhelp at brocku.ca. Geez, people email that and say, I can't get access to this, or why isn't this working, or can you help me do this, or I can't find that, uh, I need to filter this. Um, it's a great email address. Uh, besides myself, so you can ask a question. Um, online chat is great because it's a chat service that's embedded into our homepage. You can ask quick questions of how do I find, how do I cite this, where do I find this. Uh, someone can help you most times through the day and night and on weekends as well. You can book a personal consultation with me, so you would reserve me for an hour and we would talk by uh, whatever social media that you'd like to use, Zoom, Teams, uh, Life Size. Um, you can do that, or you can check out our videos that are here in the bottom, uh, how to do searches, uh, how to do better searches, and you get help writing and setting that are here as well. So a great page, research help. Um, also, uh, Use the Library is a great tab on our homepage as well. On this tab, you'll find a number of services that are available. Uh, borrowing has changed. There's a pickup service. So if you're locally in the area in Niagara and you wish to take out one of our particular books, you fill out a form, we'll sign it out to you, bring it down to the main desk, and at a certain time, you can come and pick it up and borrow it uh, for any length of time as well. If there's a part of a book or a chapter uh, that we have, you can request a scan using a phone. So up to 10% of any particular book can be scanned uh, by library staff, and then it'll be sent to you in a digitized format by email. So a great service for things that you find that are in print that you can't get anywhere else. Interlibrary Loan continues to be a valuable service. We'll talk about that to get uh, scans of chapters, papers, and journal articles. 
Accessibility is a great key function. If you need accessibility services for a screen reader or something else, we are here for you. So connect with that particular tab if that's important to you. And watch for news about changing services, access hours, and services. The last guide that I have here is off-campus access to library resources. Um, it's really to set up your computer to work appropriately. Once it's set up, it should work good at any particular time, but sometimes we can troubleshoot you to help you get access to all the materials in the Brock Library that you need to use. Welcome to the library. There's a number of tools here, but the research guides is where I'm going to as well. So on our homepage, under research guides, there's a number of guides that are listed here by faculty and department and social justice and equity studies guide is here. If you look at it, here's the URL for it. Um, uh, there's a number of tab features on this particular page. It has my picture, it has my email address, and a book of consultation. So what it does is it meshes my Outlook calendar for you, and then you can pick a day and a time that's available, and then we'll connect and discuss whatever you think you need to discuss. There's uh, tabs here that can be used at any particular time. Let's explore some of those right now. When I did this study, I picked this, the sample topic of social study of racism within policing. You have many other social studies and equity issues that you can be looking at at any particular time. But I'm going to use this as an example. As I went through the databases and the resources, the, what I'm thinking, what I need to do, the timeframes that I have, I picked the keywords of police, policing, law enforcement, and justice as a few different synonyms for one concept. Another concept or keywords I was looking at were blacks, youth, gangs, and other terms, racism, race, discrimination, bias, different words that describe other social and other related uh, issues. I found that my research should go back no sooner than 2009 and go previous to this, but I'm looking at most current materials. That's a time frame I've discovered that which works best. And space and place is a big issue, uh, and I found out that Canada, Ontario, Toronto, Greater Toronto Area. I don't really like looking at US materials or UK materials, but those are key figures for space and place to help me discern and narrow my search. Um, there's lots of documents and lots of resources on your particular topic. You need to develop a list of keywords that helps to guide you when you search the databases. So you exclude things that are peripheral interest. So you don't look at too many things, but you don't miss things of peripheral interest as well. As I went through my research for this particular topic, I found lots of notes I kept. And I kept a journal as I go through. It's a paper journal. I write down things, and we'll talk about that in a minute as well. Statistics Canada, opinion polls, advocacy, Black Lives Matter, and different words. I found Indigenous peoples is an important concept when you're talking about racism within policing. And the databases I found that were kind of unique, I didn't think were well, are WorldCat to find books that aren't available in our library. ProQuest dissertations, finding thesis and dissertations that are in full text format. ProQuest sociology, web of science, though it includes social science materials. Canadian business and current affairs, that's when I'm looking at Canadian issues. A Canadian periodical index. And Nexus, you need to find full text, current, international news as well. But when I went through this, I found these are the four or five keywords that work best. Police and policing, racism, Canada, Ontario, Toronto. GTA. So let's move forward as that's my example. You can think of different keywords that you could use to search. Let's look at books and ebooks. You may think, well, I'm looking for peer reviewed journal articles, not much else. But books and ebooks are really powerful from a social justice and equity studies. The Brock Library attempts to acquire, usually in ebook format, many books, but I'm finding with my topic that more than half of the books that were of prime interest were not located in our collection. So I wanted to find out what books we have, what chapters, what edited papers are in those books, but also I needed to know, so I wasn't embarrassed or look, seemed to look foolish, what books are available on my particular topic in the last 10 or 15 years that would be relevant to me. So books are important. If you click on the books page, there's a guide that helps you to find things. We're talking about open educational resources that are listed here, textbooks, and here's the main databases that you could use. Omni is our main database. Google Books is, helps you to find electronic equivalents for portions of print and also online books as well. Open textbooks and other books as well. And WorldCat. WorldCat answers the question, what books are available on my topic I may not know of that have been published in the last maybe five to ten years that I could look at to see whether they're relevant or not. 
Uh, Tango Board, borrowing has changed. Remember the pickup service and request to scan service I talked about. Interlibrary Loans continues to be a great resource as a can You find a chapter or a book uh, or an edited paper in a book that's not part of our collections. We can get for you for free, usually in three to five and usually less than a week. Google Books is great. WorldCat, as I said, is an important database. And you can use Interlibrary Loan to order parts of books as well. Check out open educational resources. They're an increasing part of our library. They're listed here and we'll look at them. There are textbooks, learning objects, lectures, uh, and you can use a number of databases uh, like Mason, OER, MetaFinder, or Oasis to help you identify hard to find things that are usually open, free, put together by scholars that may speak to certain issues. Um, really an interesting and growing part of collections for scholarship as well. Here's some of the books I found. Here's six of them. Uh, only two of them are in a Brock library. Uh, some of them have chapters or some of them have edited books, so there's papers. They're really important. And every time I found a book or part of a book, I put the citation, a citation software management system like EndNote, Mendeley. I tend to use Zotero and I'll suggest you use that as well. So here's books. I'm not going to show you the content in them, but they were really important in helping me define them. So I identify these and put them to one side. And when I found one book, I use their subjects to find other similar books in case there is something that was of value to me. Eventually, I didn't find all the books, but I found most of the books in the last five to ten years on my particular topic. So I was best informed. So when I sat down to write, I knew what my universe or books or ebooks uh, looked like that were important to me for this particular research. How many find books and ebooks in our library? Um, this data, if you click on here and you find open textbooks, there's a number of collections used, a number of meta search engines as well. Uh, browse to them, use your keywords, change your keywords, but use these open educational resources. You may never search from them before, but it's quite interesting. Um, when I clicked on here and I searched, I found a number of things. I found a cartoon. I found a textbook at Stanford with Unit 12. It was an open full text database. It was like a textbook on race and ethnicity and had chapters or lessons putting together content like this. I found a PowerPoint presentation talking about this particular book and police shootings of African Americans. And I found a link to a TED talk by a police officer, which I found really engaging. Again, words and pictures and resources and videos are powerful just beyond books and ebooks, but open educational resources help you to find these materials as well. Here's some examples. News sources. Now, some people might say, just like for Jolly's journal, scholarly peer reviewed research, which we'll get to, but sometimes um, news articles are important to you as well. There's a number of news resources that we have here, and they're listed here by database. Um, many are overlapping, so they give you regional, city, and national and international content. Most databases that we subscribe to have Canadian content, which is okay as well. Uh, news also includes Newswire, newspaper, news magazines, and some journals that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, Nexus Uni was an international same-day full text database. It's a must search, a really important database. Factiva, same as Lexis. Nexus is a, a Nexus Uni is another database that's international content, full text. It gives you the articles that may be important based on the keywords that you search. When you're searching for news, use your keyword combinations like words and titles or headlines, phrases and articles, prominent people, and look for the longer articles and the most important articles. Only you can discern where they are. And again, send these things to your citation management system so you have a record of the citations as well. These are excellent resources, uh, news sources to find quotes, uh, statistics that are hard to find anywhere else, uh, research releases, data, news that has a non-scholarly voice, but maybe add color to a paper, uh, add additional context to a major research paper or thesis you're looking for. News, news magazines, and news wires are interesting. Don't pay for any articles. We can usually get access to them through our content or through library loans, but keep searching the web for stories about using these unique phrases, keywords, and authors and researchers. You only you know what works, a uh, new list of modified terms changes as you become a better searcher as well. So news is an important source. Here's three news stories that I came across in my search. A Toronto Star article, over a thousand words that talks about anti-black racism. Pretty current too, 2020. A New York Times article, uh, it was a photo essay. It was over 5,000 words that talked to protesters in major cities across America. And here's a Washington Post article. 
Um, it was really interesting too. It's a, a viewpoint or an opinion, something you may or may not get in scholarly peer reviewed articles, but being social justice and equity studies, you're looking for sometimes people who think and speak and articulate and say things that may be important uh, to your research as well. Articles, okay, journal articles, this is what we're looking for as well. If you look at the journal articles pages, there's a number of databases that are listed here as well. There's over 25 altogether that you can browse through, and many are overlapping. Omni is usually your first start because it covers a great amount of content and helps you to define what words and terms work best. Um, pull your records to a citation management software system. I can't overestimate what Zotero may do for you as well. Watch this video. It helps you to be a better Omni searcher. ProQuest Sociology Collection, and I'll show you that as one of our searches at the end on how to change databases. Web of Science, which is also social science, includes core interdisciplinary searches. You can do a cited reference search. I'll show you how that works. Limit your results to scholarly peer reviewed journals because you really don't want book reviews, opinion pieces, advertisements. Um, there's other databases that help you find government information, legal information, and specialized databases. So that's one reason why you would ask what other things may be helpful. I remember to use uh, truncation, so that's the shift date asterisk to find words with common roots, we'll show you that. And put things in quotation marks like you do for Google to find words that are phrases. You can sort by relevance and by date, newest to oldest at any point of time. You can track articles using digital object identifiers to pull information into Zotero or Zotero like tools as well. I would suggest you download essential articles. You come across an article, you say, I gotta have this. So download it so you have it and put it in a place that you'll find it. But you can, you can link these to citation management systems as well. And then copy URLs, proxy URLs for articles that are of less of interest. And you can put those into your Zotero or citation management account, but you don't want a thousand journal articles in PDF format. You can choose to do that, but you really only keep full text PDF copies of really essential documents. Sign into databases and save your search. So you can sign into every database. You can mark records and send them en masse to a system or email and download them. And you can run alerts. Alerts are really neat. You can tell any database in our library, run the search once a week, email me with all the records that you found and list the citations so that I can discern whether these are relevant or not. They call it an alert service because what you're doing is you're asking the database to keep me better informed of research articles on a weekly, a monthly, or how often you want to run these alerts. Sign in the database to be creative and flexible and adaptive because different databases use different strategies. Be prepared to know what you're doing because sometimes you'll be overwhelmed by the amount of content. Now to limit your search, sometimes specific to a database, but really only you know what you're looking for when you find it. Again, redefining those keywords is redefining your search strategies, but documenting them and journaling that so that you can go back and look at your notes last week or last month to discern what worked best for you. A number of databases that you can use as well. So here's three articles that I found using my keywords, my research strategies. One was a 1994 article. It really worked well. Um, Here's a article, uh, a more recent article. The neat thing about this, it has its list of keywords. So as you use keywords to search and you find keywords for other important papers, you may modify or increase or use different keywords depending on what research strategy you do. And you may even go back and repeat search strategies with different keywords as well. Here's an article, Shining the Light on the Dark Places which was really amazing. It talked about Indigenous women and it dealt with racism and policing. And it's put out by Pamela Palmatier, which who is a, I found, a renowned international scholar from Ryerson on Indigenous issues. A really well-crafted article um, and really important to my research. So I downloaded this and put it into a citation management system. I found about 100 articles that were recent. I looked at about 40 of them and downloaded about 20 of them, but sent all the citations to all 100 articles to a citation management system. So we could create my bibliography altogether. I can create notes and tag fields. So when I was ready to search, my world was in front of me. I didn't have to go looking for anything. Here's a web of science search. Again, it includes social sciences. Uh, here's the title of the article, where it's from, the citation, the digital object identifier number, and it has 40 references at the end of it. But the neat thing about this database, which does it quite well, it tells you since 1994, when this was published, there are 16 cited peer-reviewed journal articles that have cited this paper since. 
So you can search for articles based on keywords, phrases, terms, uh, by authors, but you can also search and find things and then see who has self-cited those articles. A really neat research methodology your faculty member probably uses as well. Interlibrary loan. This is really important. Um, you can get any document, any report, any article, chapter, or book, edited article, paper um, from anywhere. It usually takes a week to 10 days to get it for you, and we send it to you in digital format. But first, you have to register for interlibrary loan. Do this anywhere. And then when you go to make a request, you can submit a request for a book, an article, or any variation. So register. Once you're registered, you're good to go. If you find something that's of interest, check Omni for holdings. We can't order anything the Brock Library has, the content. We double check, but check first to see if you can find it. Remember, register for the first time. Remember, your student number is your username. It's a five digit, I think, number. Your student number is your username. You make up your own password. A blank request form, you just fill in it and then send it off. You do not need to know where these documents are located. We or the Brock Library do this work for you. So as long as you know what you're looking for, we can get it for you. It usually takes one to two weeks, but anytime you can email racer at brocku.ca if you have any questions like, why is this taking so long? Or can I order this? Or uh, how do I cite this? Or well, how do I ask for this? They'll get back to you within a day and help you to do that. Items will be sent by email in digital format to be released using interlibrary loan software so that you get an opportunity to look at it and download it. Um, there's usually no cost unless it can't be found elsewhere, but we always ask first if there's cost. If not, we subsidize the whole process. And then save citations, citation software management, like Zotero. I think I've said that more than once. We'll talk about that in a minute. Interlibrary loans, RACER is a really important service. Background information. Sometimes when you're doing social justice and equity studies, you need to define your terms, or you find definitions, or you want to know how people have used these words, the etymologically, how long they've been used. Background information is a great resource to find dictionaries, encyclopedias, handbooks, and other resources as well. There's a number of tools that we have. These are the major ones that we have, and you can search each one of them using your keywords or terms or phrases. It helps you find scholarly citable definitions, review essays and handbook articles, encyclopedia dictionaries, and quotable scholarly content. So I search using our example, and if you go down further in the page, there's other tools. There's handbooks that you can look at. Some of these are really great. And there's other encyclopedias and dictionaries I put to one side that are all in digital format that you can look at and search yourself to see what you find as well. So when I did a search, I found, what, three references. One was a handbook, a review essay on race, crime, and policing. It was like 28 pages long. I give you critical theory. It gives you how people have used this term or word over the years. Really a great essay. You can cite that, include that in your paper, thesis, or major research paper. The Sage Dictionary of Policing, I found that there was a paper that had a definition of the term here. And that was great. And I found a dictionary of politics and international relations, which gave me uh, defined. I could cite, download email on institutional racism. Jeez, I never thought institutional racism dealing with policing and crime. Wow. I kind of put a note in my journal saying I need to look at this further, but I downloaded this and maybe can use this as part of my paper. Uh, data. Data is huge. Collecting data, using data, storing data, or knowing, just like books and articles, what data is out there that I may want to search. It's really a hard topic, but data is a huge part of doing major research. Here's a number of data resources we have listed on this page. Most of them are Canadian, and there's hundreds of data resources that you can use as well. Um, on the link there, there's a lot of there's a data and statistics page, which is on this link here. And it tells you how to look for things, open data, setting data, visualizing data. How am I going to present it? Um, it's a really huge part of analyzing qualitative, quantitative, government, legal, uh, public, uh, how data is used. And Heather Whipple, which is the link here, is the data librarian. You got to make an appointment. Um, and Sharon Jansen does GIS and data visualization. She's uh, amazing. So if you have to do a map, um, look at a geospatial space place sort of thing, she's a person that can help you with that as well. So email or book a consultation with Heather or Sharon today. Today, write down 
make an appointment and ask about what your research data interests are and if you have a data management plan as you move forward. We're almost getting there, but theses and dissertations on the guide are a really important source. If you're writing one, nothing better than beg, borrow, or stealing without plagiarizing ideas from other people that have gone before you and done similar sorts of things as well. There's a lots of databases that are listed here because there's lots of sources. Theses are gray literature. They're not books, they're not articles, but they're important sources as well. Um, there's a number of things. are There are MA theses and PhD dissertations and major research papers as well. We have our own Brock thesis, I'll show you at the very end. However, there's no so no MRPs have been added to our repository through this link. Hopefully one day they'll be added. So you can look at other MRPs um, just to get an idea of how they work, what they look like, and how they're formatted, and how they say the things that they need to say. ProQuest Dissertations is an excellent database to use. International content is usually not available through until I roll. So don't ask us to get it for you. What you do is you go to like our Brock Theses page. You go to other institutional repositories to find full text of theses as well. You search home institutions for these sorts of things. This is nothing like finding a useful thesis or dissertation. I'll tell you why. Um, it helps you to craft ideas. It gives you a literature review somebody else has done. Check it. Use it. Beg, borrow, steal, cite, don't plagiarize their ideas. It also gives you ways of saying and ways of visualizing data as well. Keep searching before and after you're writing your own literature review. So if you're doing a major paper, uh, look for theses and dissertations right now. In a little while, do it again. And before you present or you do your final draft or you defend in any particular way, look to see if something new has just come down the pipeline as well. Um, ProQuest Dissertations and Theses uh, Gallable is a database, and here's what I did in this database. So first, this is a summation of what I did. I looked for police or policing, and any word that started with racist, like races or racism. And I found over a thousand documents, theses and dissertations. I went back and I says, look for police or policing, and let's add other categories and phrases like law enforcement, and I want to find them in the document title. And got me down to a four or five hundred. I says, I looked through my list of keywords and I said, let's put in prejudice or discrimination or discriminating or stereotype or any word without root anywhere. And so I got down to about 150. And then I said, of those, I can browse through those sorts of things. I looked, let's got Toronto or Ontario or any word that has the root Canada, like Canada, Canadian, Canada. Yeah. Since every thesis and uh, dissertation has an abstract, I wanted those words in there as well. And I found 40 or 50 thesis or dissertations. So I've got three groupings. I collected everything dealing with police and racism. I can look at everything dealing with racism in Toronto. And I collected everything dealing with police or policing in Toronto or Ontario or Canada. So you can do combinations of these sorts of sets and in different formats and styles as well. So after doing this, I found I think 30 theses or dissertations in full text. And here's some of them as well. Excellent resources. Again, send them over to a citation management system, look at them, read them, gain a sense of how they did things, their methodologies, their lit review, their conclusions, how they crafted their data and visualized it. Um, these will be essential documents for you to consider when doing major research. We're getting there, almost near our end. Writing and setting. This is the last tab I think I'm going to show you as well. So how do you write in style format? On this page, there's a number of tools that are here um, and guides to help you to be a better researcher, a writer, and, and tools as well. Um, if you click here, it gives you a list, and a wiki list of all the citation management system software that's out there. I tend to use Zotero. Email me and I'll tell you why. There's a number of style manuals that are listed here and Zotero guides there. And they're all listed here, uh, so you can use those tools as well. Here's some questions for you. Have you created a list of keywords and subjects for your searching? You, you need to do this in journal lists, whether it's in paper or electronic format. To ask the questions, what boundaries have you set for your research to include publication formats, books, journals, articles, news, theses? What date range best works best? Places and spaces, is there geographical or other content, a cultural, a subcultural content? What databases have I or should I search? Is there authors or government agencies or advocacy groups that I should be using as well? Again, you need to craft your keywords. You have a data management plan to capture, archive, share, and manage your data. If you do not, email Heather Whipple when? Today. And ask to have a consultation. So go over the resources that could help you as well. 
we don't want you looking at this at any particular time because it can be overwhelming. But as you gain speed and you develop your list of keywords, you gather documents, you use a terror or other citation management system, you're in control of your own destiny. Uh, sometime you begin to write. Have you registered for race or interlibrary loan services to get digital copies of books, book chapters, papers, news, and scholarly articles? If not, do it today. If you have any problems, connect with the racer staff. Do you keep a journal that documents what databases, search terms, save strategy and alerts you've created? How successful you were? How you feeling? How is this working or not working? What do you need to change? And when a search was conducted so you can document and journal that as well. Really a key part of any researcher. How has your information seeking behavior changed over time? Well, it will change from starting to beginning to ending. And when you end, you'll think that you still need to do more, but sometimes you need to get this research paper, paper, or thesis done. Do you have a citation management system that captures data for books, papers, and web pages that's used for all searches? If you don't, another great question. Take a digital scholarship lab or DSL workshop on Zotero. It'll introduce you to why this is important. And when you do, you say, where do I get the best data to create my citations? Do I tag citations, code data, and add notes? Serious researchers do this so that they add their own notes to the citations and also links to the citations themselves. Where do you keep or save your full text citations? Is that all over the place? The different computers, your phone? How might you contact the Brock Library Digital Scholarship Lab and take a workshop? There's a workshop there for you. Again, don't want you looking like this. Don't be overwhelmed because we can help. Have you found current master's theses and doctoral dissertations? Really, they're so important. Have you found books, ebooks, government documents, and reports? Sometimes a gray area of literature, most people don't search, but things that you should look at because they may provide essential data resources and contacts. Have you found scholarly journal articles and papers? Again, I found about 100. Used about 40 and found eight that I downloaded that were just exactly what I'm looking for. Have you tracked cited references in Web of Science for these articles to find more current research? Really interesting what you find doing that. What value is there in searching the news popular in social media? Well, I'm thinking in social justice and equity studies, this is really important. You probably know more about it than I do, but I found it important to track that, to give a, a voice, a color, a flavor to the research to make it more relevant and interesting and accurate. When you stop chasing studies and start writing, oh, the bane of every graduate student. Again, you don't want you to look at this, the library can help. How can the Brock Library and your liaison library help? Well, there's many ways that I've put forth. Go over the PowerPoint slides, go over the URLs. If you have any questions or comments, email and book a consultation. We can help. Here's the last slide before I do my three searches. My email address, again, I'm here through December 2020. Heather, the data librarian, Brock Library Help, the research guide we've been using, research data management guide you should look at if you don't have a data management plan. Our Brock Library, we can help but all the best with your research, studies, and writing. At this particular time, I'd like to move over to the Brock homepage. I'm gonna bring this guide over here, so bear with me. So here's a Brock Library homepage. It's a tool we can use to find things that are things, and there's three things I'd like to do. One is to show you how to use Omni. Now Omni's here on the front page, it's also in the guide, it's everywhere. You can search and find the database. I always use the advanced search option. And what it does, it gives you a template like every database. And since you have a list of keywords, what words do I use? So let's search for articles. So you can look for books and eBooks, video, streaming video. Um, but we're gonna look for articles, meaning papers or scholarly reviews. I'm gonna enter a term, remember I used the word police. Now in this database, you have to type or in capitals, police or policing, those are my two key terms. If you don't put the or in capitals, it messes up the logic. So I'm going to look for articles and titles with the words police or policing. My second term is race. And again, I truncate this to find any word with racism, racist. And I'm going to look any field. I'm looking for articles. Almost everything we own is in English. And of all the articles you search for, we have over 90% of every article that you're looking for. I'm going to add a new line here. I'm going to put in the terms uh, Rico Toronto, Toronto, OR, capitals, Ontario, OR, Canada, Canadian. You've seen this before. 
and let's do a search. So we're just looking for journal articles on these three concepts together. I found 590. Is that too many, too few? Let's look for this word, not on the subject or the author. Let's look for this word in the title as well. So again, this article has to have these combinations of words in the title. 29. Is that too many, too few? Only you can decide. Some people go through over 500 articles and browse because you never know what you can find because you can sort these articles a number of ways. One of them is you can sort them by relevance. But instead of using the date limitators, we look for the date newest to oldest. And also you should search for peer review journals. This is really important. Scholarly peer review journals. So there's eight results here. And on the results you get is only good as the terms that you use. And they're only as good as how you match them in search. Big or small, you can add things that you find. You go, well, that's interesting. You can add them and tag them to an account to mark them. Without even looking at them, oh, that looks interesting. We tend to have almost all these in our library. Then at the very end of your search strategy, you can click on the tag list here once you're signed in. And what it does is it remembers all the records you search so you can email, download them, or send them to Zotero, your citation management system. Does that make sense? So Omni, make sure you use the OR, capital O R, to make the logic work properly as well. The next search I'm going to do is let's go back to our homepage. Let's go to research guides. And in the research guides is our social justice and equity studies page, which is down here. And I'm going to look at the databases here for journals, scholarly peer review journal articles. And the database I'm going to use is ProQuest Sociology Collection. You can use Google Scholar, Web of Science, a number of databases are listed here, and certainly use Omni. When you use this database, it's kind of neat. You can click on the change database functions. When you click on change databases, databases that have the same search engine formatting, like business, you can add these so you can search more than one database concurrently. I don't want business, but I want Canadian Business Current Affairs because it has some scholarly journal articles. Education, I don't want uh, literature, no nursing, period, politics. What it does is you can only search the sociology collection by clicking on this button here. I won't go any further. You can search these concurrently as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top, top, use selected databases. So when you go back and you search for policing or police, you're searching all three databases together using the same context that you're searching for in Omni. Does that make sense? Use the same filters, use the same options, and use match your phrases and keywords to find records as well. The last thing I'm going to do is go back to our page and look at theses and dissertations. Um, there's a number of theses in database you use. We use ProQuest dissertations, but I'm going to show you the Brock theses that are here as well. So Brock theses are listed here. You can search a number of databases together. Uh, uh, and the nice thing about this, you can narrow it down to master's theses in critical sociology. So, you know, sister or MA in social justice and equity studies. I think there are 51 theses that are here that have been deposited. And if you were doing a thesis, your thesis would end up here in full text format. The neat thing about this is you can now search for through all these, the full text of all these theses for words, 24 of them had the word police in it and browse through the words and identify where those words are as well. Or which I tend to do, you can type in the words uh, N W M E Y E R professor and find out that two of these theses have this professor's name in it as well. Can you see the power of that? And almost every academic university has not only thesis and resources as well, but they have a digital repository as well. The last thing I want to show you is um, in the Brock theses is major research papers where are they? Um, the problem is, is the major research papers that are listed here for other courses. But if you go to major research papers in social justice and equity studies, there's nothing there, which is kind of disappointing. One day they will be there. But for now, hopefully your thesis, your major MRP was go here, but there's nothing there right now, which is really disappointing. But you can go to the department homepage and see who has done what theses and what topics as well. So there you go. Uh, let's click on the Brock University homepage. So check out the guides, the information, go back to the PowerPoint slides, go check all the URLs, 
But more importantly, ask if you think you need help. Uh, I know you'll be successful. It's a fascinating program. There's lots of resources. And though you may be overwhelmed, we can help you to be successful so that you can be a better student, a better writer, and a better researcher. So thanks for letting me into your class. Um, enjoy the rest of your term and touch base with me if we can help. All the best.